Hello everyone and welcome to the first ever recap episode of Red Center by Night. I know it's a bit chaotic. We've got three three campaigns going on right now. Yep. But we've got representatives from each of them and like an outsider right now. Hey, I'm I'm the streamer the guy that streams the show <laughs> <laughs> while she's at work. Yeah, so one thing is that every Sunday we're either recording or I'm at work, so <laughs> I got I got an assistant now. Nice. Her personal goal. Uh, personal goal. Wow. <laughs> I can see it. Yeah. We're either gonna be like usually filming or the, when the, actually it's airing as well. So I know that happened because my grandmother was watching and she doesn't she understand how Twitch watch. works. So when she opened it up, she said, wow, your American accent's great. And I was oh. like, mm, that's not me. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Grandma. that's Adam, and I don't I'm, think Adam and I look I'm so old. excited to be at your Christmas dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Please save a place for me. Yeah, I was like, mm, I don't think you're watching me. <laughs> Should we maybe all introduce ourselves? I don't yeah. Know. yeah. Okay, so the first episode, we're still trying out new things. Hello, my name is Rina. I am the storyteller and host thing person uh, the editor editor <laughs> all of the above yeah mm -hmm. uh I i'm i'm lou and i'm just i'm just the guy that, <laughs> that streams i'm here i'm here to talk about the show i'm the audience uh, i'm the outside perspective for this episode I'm Joel. I play Trist, the most successful member of the Inquisition. <laughs> very. Trust, trust me, you'll see it. Very, line. very, very high bar there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's literally on the floor. I'm Tara. I play Lorna, a Toreador who is making more trouble uh, than you guys are aware of yet. Mm -hmm. I'm Sophie. I play Dasha, who is a lot of things <laughs> in a lot of places, uh, but currently in the Bahari game. <laughs> and I'm Adam. I play Charlie uh, from the Camarilla, our Banu Hakim. Okay, so I know like it's been like three weeks since the first, uh, like all first episodes has been out of the way, and this is technically the fourth week. Um, but we are halfway through with the recordings with most people, this group. That's why it's gonna be like a bit of a stretch to like think back and. Remember what was the first episode. Also, avoid spoiling things. Yeah. That we've yeah. So, much. <laughs> so many things I want to talk about that I can't. <laughs> so, do you guys want to like do a recall of the first episode, like a shortened <laughs> recall? I've just watched all the eyes come over this way. Yeah. Oh, that means I'm going first. Your episode. Yeah. Start with that side of the group. Your episode was first. It was. Yeah. It was. Uh, Camarilla. Here we go again. Um, we, yeah, we had a party, uh, a plane crashed, and then we went and saw some fake corpses, which maybe weren't fake. Who knows? Uh, let's see, what else happened in that episode? Oh, baby. Uh, baby, on, <laughs> baby on board. Yeah, um, uh, we found our fledgling, Delilah, uh, a name that has come up again. <laughs> In other episodes, um, she's in our coterie now, which is also new. Uh, so Charlie, Jin, Maxie, and Delilah are uh, are now a Fab Four. Thanks, Saracene. <laughs> Banana <laughs> Prince. You guys just adopted. Yeah, what? Well, yeah, well, you know, it was that or like let this one uh, ash her immediately. Oh, it oh no! Have been for the best. It's, I agree with you. Yes, honestly. I mean, she might agree with you in a few episodes. <laughs> yes. I was going to say, yes. we'll for her sake. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if we do our jobs right, she will. Terrifying. Look, she took to it like a champ, if I can say, just from someone watching, like, woke up as baby vampire. And I was just like... She has the highest kill count. Rolling with it. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. accurate. <laughs> <laughs> She's running with the kill streaks. I don't know. I like the fact that she basically went, like... First thing before asking what's happening is, did you have sex on top of my box? <laughs> Yep. Did you fuck on my box? Yeah. <laughs> Episode one, establishment of the fuck box. Yep. Phrasing, mm -hmm. really, mm -hmm. all around. Yep. 
Oh, and we were introduced to Malice, which is our oh. ship name for Maxie and Alice, <laughs> with their oh, like boy. twelve minute oh. flirtation yeah, scene. Malice. A little, uh, little romance. Yeah, the first ship of the game. The first yeah. ship yeah. of the game. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, we've been calling it's it spicy. Axie, and Malice is a little bit up. It's a pretty good silver medal, though, as ship names go. Yeah, true, true. I like Axie in other circumstances. And the, prob- the problem with that is the fact that Alice and Maxie are both gay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know. I but feel they're like. They're dead as well. So yeah. yeah, they're a bit dead as well, which makes like the sex life really. <laughs> Different. Cold. <laughs> Unique. There we go. Right. Can't remember the recap. I enjoyed it. I, I, the, I enjoyed watching all of it. I feel like the start for you guys, especially watching, I was like, oh, they're so nice. And everyone's getting along <laughs> so well. This might have been just based on my personal bias of what I experienced, but I was like, they're so friendly. <laughs> I don't know. I was just spent the first half of it watching Charlie get socially curb stomped, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> which is, yeah, to be yeah. fair, what I expect for him. <laughs> yeah. Fair. Well, you know, Dasha has an open disdain for everyone, so <laughs> that had to yeah. be made clear very, very yeah. quickly. No special Wait, how, how old is uh, is Charlie? What, what generation is? He's 131 years old total, I think. So he's an Ancilla, Ancilla. technically speaking. Okay. Okay. He's an old man. He's an old man soldier. So when they're like the plane's crashing, you're like it was damn right, brothers. Again. Like, no, the <laughs> no when the when the plane crashed, the first thing Charlie did was ask for his dagger this back. This is from an ongoing thing. Look, Leah didn't have to make it personal. She did. She was like, I'm gonna keep this knife if you step out of line. It's like, girl, we're gonna have a talk, you and I. You don't take my knife. This is. You can take my arm. You don't take that. She's on a power trip. We're gonna talk about it. But I also, it was nice to watch Charlie just because of the one shots we did. To see Charlie in his element and doing really, really well as opposed to chaos in a toilet. Yeah, look, I was really glad we got to do those off camera ones because I played, I got to play Charlie more like I wanted, the way I, way I thought I was going to play him on that episode. Like mm-hmm. that's how I imagined Charlie. And then in our, obviously, no plan survives <laughs> contact with the Second Inquisition. Just afterwards, it's like, I am changing Charlie. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, if this ever happens again. <laughs> I actually think Talon's the only person in that one shot whose character stayed the same after that. Yeah, we all, look, I've made so many character sheets for Charlie. I think I've had mm-hmm. like eight or nine of them. <laughs> I have so many copies <laughs> of your character sheets. But like, I don't know, I love character building. It's one of my favorite things mm-hmm. about it. And so, especially because I'm an old man, so I have a few more points. Uh, I was like, wait, oh my God, I have to do every permutation of all these like <laughs> blood sorcery rituals. And like, what if he's a ninja type with all celerity? And what if he's just invisible all the time? No, like the audience doesn't know this, but before I ran this game, I did one shots with all like main coteries and everyone except for the Bahari people because they didn't need it. <sighs> the Bahari was not even supposed to be a main group, but now they are. They were supposed to be the hidden threat, and everyone in the group knows what the story is gonna happen. So I'm shifting a little thing here and there to make things a bit spicy <laughs> but yeah in the one shot there's now an inside joke where charlie got stuck in the toilet with a second inquisition group a and stall that <laughs> became very significant in the episode <laughs> i just watched wait, wait, yesterday wait, wait. someone has to explain this How, what there was in a, the toilet a one shot where we went to a nightclub well they went to this the uh, some other people went to a nightclub and we just woke up in a nightclub, which, you know, that happens. Okay, yeah. And when we were, like, the, as the Inquisition, like, all right, we're going to leave this nightclub. We walked out, and it's like everything. And there was that whole scene from Blade where you walk into the nightclub and everyone's a vampire, and you're like, hmm, like, that's not good. And it very rapidly escalated that a character, I wasn't even playing Trist at that point, I was playing a different character, noticed Charlie go into the bathroom, and my character went to go interrogate Charlie, but because I went to the bathroom, UA noticed I went to the bathroom, so she went into the bathroom, and because UA went to the bathroom, Talon went to the bathroom. <laughs> because I was in the bathroom first, I said to Charlie, the Inquisitioner here, I'm going to try and save you because I don't want to kill Kindred. Then UA oh. turned up and went, the Inquisitioner here, he's here to kill you, I'm here to save you. <laughs> and then Talon came in and said, I'm here to kill you. <laughs> yes. Here's oh a God. holy symbol for you. <laughs> <laughs> it was terrible. What happened Talon to Charlie? Was- Talon, Talon 
Alan was standing there in the only exit and entrance to the place, blocking it, and everyone's like knocking on the door because they, it's the only toilet. Oh my god. <laughs> it's a man's yeah. toilet, and then he Talon decided I'm gonna use the holy symbol. So everyone in the room was like, oh god. Uh, especially I liked how Ivy was like, I get it, I'm gonna get a steak. It's like from where? It's like there'll be a steak around. It's like, what? <laughs> I'm, I'm going to make wrong nightclub. <laughs> 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 yeah, it was just stinks. Like, this might Normally I think the that was only things you see on the floor of the toilet are like tampon wrappers <laughs> and empty ketamine yeah, bags. No, no, yeah. not, not steaks. No, no. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that was my first game of Vampire the Masquerade. That was my introduction to oh, good. to that system. And one thing that's held true is that Charlie makes a lot of decks out of No, the first episode was with the ghost. Oh, that was our first one. Yeah, oh, that's yes. our first one shot. Ah, I had him flipped oh, yeah. in my head. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Charlie made buddies with a ghost girl. You know, I did a one shot for this group, and there's like, it's all of it, like the whole story is the same. Everyone will run through their same scenario. There is a little girl, and everyone except for Charlie decided the girl has to go die. Uh, <laughs> I was ready to bring. She, she was has to burn. That opening scene of Men in Black. <laughs> yes. Oh yeah. I was like, we have a fifth member of our coterie now. <laughs> it is this little ghost. <laughs> Charlie's <laughs> like, tether. I'm gonna hug this ghost. I'm <laughs> not gonna let she this ghost go. She joined our group too. You we just really didn't mean for her to. Plunged it into our hearts though, and she was like, Do I have to go? <laughs> no. See, once again, Look I feel like you've got a nicer Look start than you did. Ours was, ours was just straight up like, I'm burning the house down with all of you in it. I'm here to play with your souls. Oh, it was full of paranoia compulsions and me accidentally scaring everyone with my silence the grave footsteps. <laughs> <laughs> Passive stealth. Just, yeah, nice. I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, lots of iterations <laughs> of, of many faces of Charlie. <laughs> I can relate. Oh yeah, uh, tell us about all of your Triss Oh, all of the every Triss. Well, yeah. I originally, when I started playing, I was playing Hound, who was going to be a caitiff. Uh, and then the independent group started to take a bit more shape, and Hound was a bit overpowered, as we found in this toilet scene, where he grabbed Charlie and was like, I'm just going to eat you out of the bathroom. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, and no. I was kind of like, oh yeah, Charlie's a soldier, Sh so we I should mean, be about roughly equivalent power. And it's just like... Yeah nine successes through all walls. Like, oh no, this oh, isn't yeah. fun. So I thought, all right, maybe I'm going to change my character again. And then uh, as the independent group, we took a bit more shape, as I said, and then I was play we broached the idea of playing a Garu. So we looked at that. Then instead of Garu, maybe one of the other shifters. So for a little while, it was an Ananasi spider Whoa. and rolled with that. And then the Inquisition book came out and we went, well, we have to do this. There it is. So for a little while, Trist was a pyrokinetic. And that was actually what we're rolling with, which is also why in all like the posters and trailers, it's me who doesn't smoke smoking because I was a pirate. When we take the photo, like yeah, he he creates fire. Nice. And then between those posters getting shot and the game, the hunter book came out, and we're like, oh, well, you can't not. So that's how we ended up where we are now. But that's and of where course, the and of course, Trist found well. Joel found like the most broken thing in the game and decided to play it for <laughs> Trist. <laughs> Is that gonna be too spoilery to reveal? <laughs> just no, 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 tell but, us. That, what did you break? Edge, huh? Oh no, no, just some of the the power. So I think they did well. Like when you consider the fact that humans can't soak, like they don't take half damage, so they just straight up die. But some of the powers they gave hunters are just kind of like this seems silly. Like the ability to on the fly create a sniper rifle like <laughs> my character has the ability to be like in this room be like hey I'm like let me just take this bin break this it's like why now have a gun whiteboard marker <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> but I, I only recently took that ability because uh, as I said with all the characters there was a point where I was a character who could create fire just with my hands just so I could create fire and people in my group forgot I can't do that anymore so <laughs> come no on. Joel yeah, the most broken the one is global access episodes, yeah. right is that the one that's coming out yeah, this so weekend? Yeah, that's the next coming one. You'll be there in the, ne the this next... This weekend or next weekend? No, this weekend is the camera Yeah, one. yeah, so yeah, next week. No, the, no, this weekend is going to be this one. Oh, okay. Just oh, so... Two weeks. Right. two weeks from now? Nice. Yeah, two weeks from now is camera But I want to see the second episode already. You'll oh, very much see it in my face when it happens. No, but I want to watch it, like, as it... <laughs> You've got the most yeah. elevated subscription. Yeah. That's true. Oh, that's true. Oh, that's it's just right there. The files are there. I can just spoil myself. In the computer. It's so simple. <laughs> Inside the computer. Yeah, you'll yeah. see on my face when Talon's like, we need fire. I'm like, yeah, we do. Yeah. <laughs> like, fire would be really useful. I'm like, yeah, you're telling me the same thing. He's like, create fire. 
Okay. I mean, it makes sense for y'all to have broken abilities, though, because otherwise, like, Charlie, I could literally spit blood at all of you and render you unconscious. Yes. Like, yeah. you still can. I can run as fast as the bullets you're shooting at me sometimes. Like, you need Probably still you, you need some help. Yeah, that's why well, portable <laughs> access is just literally, like, you can hack everything. So mm -hmm. I, uh, I have some really funny plans of making videos of Mr. Winters. I don't know. Like, <laughs> Dancing naked with the Bahari just for like, I don't know, whatever. I like, love that. Don't think you need hacking skills for that. Yeah. It's like it's like you get to be like Garcia in Criminal Minds. You ever yeah, watch that yeah, show? Little... They're just like operator. It's like, can you get into the the security system at this smoothie shop I just walked yeah. by? It's like on it. <laughs> it has. I'm trying to intentionally not use any actual real like cybersecurity terms. Instead, just doing the guys like. You're trying to backhack me. <laughs> like, uh, take, your GUI is destroyed. <laughs> like, yeah, that's a thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but um, there's been a lot of characters for Trist, and no doubt he'll probably change again because, as I said, I'm probably I'm the not confirmed, but I'm fairly certain I'm the only actual mortal one in our group. I don't know what's going on with Talon, but I'm suspicious. <laughs> Spillage. Suspicious. Yeah, Talon, looks, Talon looks a little supernatural. Yeah. The way he moves, the way he's so... Robotic. No, that's just Pat. <laughs> <laughs> just Pat. <laughs> Is that just him in real life? That's just, yeah. Yeah. But that's, that's what I mean. Energy. But when I say that, I mean me personally. I'm fairly certain Joel is the only mortal person. There's something weird with the other two. Pat is an IVO. Definitely ghosts. Suspicious. Suspicious. I thought everyone knew what I like. Oh, you mean in, in real life? So, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, 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 true. They were very like well poised at all times. Poised is the yeah. word. Poised. Poised. I, yeah. I don't know about that, man. Yeah, you seen that seen... game. You wait, wait. Mm -hmm. Just I appreciate the view everyone has of, especially now. See, I feel like seven epi second episode, I peak, uh, especially based on the third episode, oh, where okay. I very severely do not. <laughs> Very so, I like not. everyone watch out for that Easter egg where yeah, where Trist has Grace. a terrible time. Just, just assume Trist is having a terrible time always, <laughs> because he is. Oh uh, yeah, sorry. Actual recap on our yeah, episode. actually, yeah. Sorry. Uh, yes, we all yeah. arrived. Uh, we were introduced to Mr. Winters, who was lovely from the start. I mean, it was like you're not getting paid. I hate you. Uh, the reason why Trist actually listens to him, I'm sure, will eventually be revealed. A toss -up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, we all went inside we were shown around we were shown the people zoo that we have inside there of things that aren't people but look like people such as ghosts and demons and all sorts of good things nice euphemism for dungeon yeah, yeah pretty much pretty much yeah it's the pr pr <laughs> phrase and someone who which based on the bahari episode we just watched realized is the arbiter who designed that putting the get out of here button and the release all the animals button like next to each other so our darling Aline just went we need to get out of here oh no I released everything oops and much just like as Dasha said when she, we, they should have just killed Delilah I was advocating just, just shoot her just shoot her <laughs> not even do you save us dealing with her you save her having to be eaten by everything and killed <laughs> horribly uh, but yes then we were attacked by a ghost um, which was horrible uh, we then took a service elevator down into a basement uh, where the ghost did its exorcist thingy. It was like a ghost and a demon. I'm not sure there was like a ghost and a demon, and I don't know if it was a ghost demon. Poltergeist? Uh, yeah, poltergeist. Right? I, I thought so, but there was a demon involved. Oh. Jeff Jeff was very heavily like, yeah, there's demons. And we're like, oh. cool, <laughs> that's chill. Oh, no, the reason we why Jeff said that is because in one of the one shots, some of the things from one shots get into the game, like become canon. Like in one of the one shots of the Second Inquisition, I had them deal with like looking for Jeff because Jeff got, has gone missing. And they went into Jeff's laboratory. They found this really old closet that they found out as a demon. <laughs> yeah, we found a cupboard and they made me touch it. <laughs> the they only human! Yeah. They have Alice with them, a kindred that will not take much damage if she touches the thing, but they decided to squishy. Yeah, they, to <laughs> they made you? Pretty sure you no. <laughs> uh, Alice was like, I'm just going to touch it if we yeah. don't stop talking. And then Winters was like, on his overhead, he's like, I'm going to kill you if you don't touch it. I was like, oh, Whoa. okay. He's nice. like, touch it. Just stop talking and touch it. Like, and then nearly died. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I thought it was a demon. Um, I've been watching a lot of TV shows about hunting vampires and things, so I can sort of get into the groove. So Supernatural saved me with the just use rock salt. So uh, with the power of licking the walls to find a salty spot and go, yep, that's rock salt. <laughs> <laughs> you saved everyone. Yeah. No, yeah. with the yeah. coffee. <laughs> yeah, I saved the day. 
that goes that time. And as I said, I continue to save the day, regardless of what everyone says. Regardless. <laughs> so what, what was the thing that was like shadow versus blood at one point? Like you were in that security room. We don't you know. You never figured it out. We're, assu <laughs> oh, we're assuming it was a La Sombra to some degree. Okay. But as I said, I wrote off the guard and immediately we got there and I went, this place sucks. Mm. Everyone who works <laughs> here sucks. I don't want to be here. I am loyal to none of this. So when this, they're like, we're going to teleport you out of the garden and the others were like, no, that can't happen. I was like, please do it. Please do it. Like, I'm okay. There is nowhere that could be worse. I've watched the Bahari episode. I now know that's wrong, but there's very few places that could be worse. The same town too. Yeah. I'm just glad we get teleported to like Alice's bedroom. Just because there's laying on nails. It's like... Yeah, take me back, that, please. That yeah. was a very tasty detail at the end of that episode. Yeah. <laughs> you know? When, because like I was like, oh, what a classic Melissa joke. Get that bed of nails nine. Yeah. <laughs> nope. <It's a> bed <laughs> of nails. Actual bed of nails. Yeah. Uh, but yes, I also it, we didn't. I didn't realize that how old Seven was. So in my head, Seven's like this seven-year-old. Uh, so I'm like walking around leaning by my, the hand, and then afterwards, Ring's like Seven's fourteen. I'm like, oh, oh. okay, <laughs> all right. And let me. Just, <laughs> I'm gonna adjust that a little bit. I mean, like, she's still a child. Yes, so yes. But now at least I can stop being like, do you like, do you know how to operate a telephone or something? I'm going to be like, you know, like, all right, cool, go to the kitchen. She's 14, she's going to teach you how to do yeah. a TikTok. Yeah, yeah, yeah. she'll make me dab or something like that. <laughs> like, well, we, we established she has magical powers. We don't know what they are. And I'm hoping yeah, that it doesn't turn into, like, you give me chicken nuggets, I'll give you <gasps> Oh, no, oh yeah. So, ghosts. I saved everyone from ghosts and we got teleported <laughs> to the middle of suburbia, which could be arguably worse. Uh, but there was someone who I didn't realise how good-looking this person apparently was, but we met someone who multiple people have referenced, like, oh, yeah, but then you wouldn't have this extremely good-looking guy in your group. Oh, the yeah, hotlet. Yeah. Oh, wait, yeah. who are we talking about? Uh, what, what is his name? Uh, Carol. Carol, that's it. This, the is, the this is the hot yeah. Sombra? Yeah, the hot Sombra. Even right. I know about the hot Sombra. Yeah, but see, I don't. <laughs> Why is everyone's obsession I'm, with the hot Sombra? I don't have it. I Hashtag was just kind of like, that's, Come on. that's chill. What's and up? You were going to kill his sister. Yeah, and I still maintain that, like, <laughs> if you... I, my personal <laughs> opinion is that if you came to someone and they were like, you, where's my sister? She's dead. I could just be like, yeah, a, a ghost possessed her. True, yeah, you could attempt no. to roll on a deception. Yeah. No, <laughs> no, to be fair. Well, just also, like, I, the options were shoot her and let her die quickly or, like, let her go all cabin in the woods and get eaten by every single thing in there. No, but to be fair, I like I said, I did a test run of, like, the first episodes. And, you know, this guy is part of it. He was the guy with the true fate. Yeah, and he decided to... <laughs> so it I, went exactly the same way. Yeah. Right? Uh, <laughs> well, uh, Don't get quite, me wrong. Quite so if he's entirely right, there was, if we had shot her, it would have gone so much worse. But I still <laughs> stick by my guns and said, we should have shot her. If we shot her when I said we wanted to, she wouldn't have pushed the button to open up the garden. So what, did, what happened in your game? In, in our game, in her test run, uh, for, for, for a second musician, I chose to play a uh, Faith Hunter as well. Mm -hmm. Uh, and basically, it went pretty much the same way. You know, we talked to the people there, Mr. Winner. It wasn't Mr. Winners yet, no. but it was the head guy. He told, he told us to go to the cells to investigate and talk to whoever was there. And then the, all of a sudden, you know, Aline presses the wrong button and everything's, you know, you know the, sh the metal shutters come down and all of us are trapped in there and we have to find a way out. There's a ghost. Now we have a ghost with us and it takes us downstairs to the you know the yeah, dungeon yeah, yeah, to the creepy place my guy is a faith hunter who was an ex-military you know veteran he takes one good look at aline he senses that there is something in her and he takes out his gun oh, no. Yeah. no questions asked left hand across right hand gun so he tries to pray uh, a prayer first it doesn't work what the hell is she so you no should. questions just you've got her. no, you've got no prayer yeah, Wi-Fi down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> shot her point blank in the face. She fell down. But she kept moving. Oh, <laughs> she man. was there's something in her, and I don't remember exactly what happened, but uh, she was still alive. <laughs> she was still kicking. Yeah, that's like um, well, pretty much went the same way at the end of it, except at the end of it, instead of um, 
Tris going like, hold on to this hard drive, Seven, and keep this phone up here and we're gonna die. This guy decides like, I'm gonna use the, the holy water to just spray the flame. Oh, yeah, like, uh, he, he opened he open his flask like a champagne bottle and just like... <laughs> Did it work? No. no I, I still I still insist a really great thing for a faith hunter to try is the holy water super soaker. Yeah, yes. exactly. Yes. Yes. I've been saying this. With the power of Christ, I will bless also, you. Though, we're the second Inquisition, so it's not like this guy be like, hang on, why did you shoot my sister when she was possessed by a ghost? You guys are so well known for rehabilitating supernatural creatures. I mean, when people think of the Inquisition, they think of hugs and cuddles, right? No, but the thing Nobody is... Exactly what that is. Exactly <laughs> no, but right. the thing is, with the test run, when I told them, like, hey, where's my sister? There was, like, silence. And then one of the... Really quiet. Like, really quiet. Like, nothing in the call. And then one of the girls went, like, um, can I know who the sister is? And then I went, like, so you look around the room... You look at the pictures on the wall and you see Aline with her brother. And all of them are like, no! He doesn't understand it though. He's dead as well. Oh, yeah, they're wow, both dead. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, if the garden episode is any indication, the mm -hmm. SI has no compunction about working with Kindred mm -hmm. <laughs> to serve certain ends. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Yeah. No. Kill all. But yes, yeah, so that's how our game went for episode one. Yeah, but how how did you think of the rock salt on the wall? Oh, I was just watching Supernatural, which is just the great show. There, well, that's how I go. As people will find out in the second episode, after that, I was like, all right, ghost rock salt, like Fey, cool. I'm getting a crowbar and I'm freezing. Cold it. iron. Yeah, I'm like, all right, I'm gearing up to fight everything, anything that could come back. Can I anything. can I throw an annoying medieval slash Renaissance fact at you about that frozen crowbar? Yeah, it's not. Gonna That's work. not what cold iron. Yeah, is. No, not, yeah, I know that, but my character's not smart. I, I save that. I, I do <laughs> love the idea of in character, like Fine. just having this like himbo moment of if I put this iron in the freezer, iron. <laughs> cold. Legit <laughs> Legit cold. Like, iron. Legitimately, what he I've done, I went and grabbed an esky and shot. <laughs> to crowbar <laughs> this. any changing that comes at me I'm just gonna crowbar you in the head Swat I mean it'll be effective it work it's just differently work. yeah like the task failed successfully like, especially with how world, <laughs> world of darkness works like crowbarring a changeling will still probably do some severe damage it's just it did, the fact it's cold does nothing but makes it uncomfortable for both of us yeah. but uh yes um it was very hard to think back to that episode as well because uh there is a reference at some point where Rena was asking when we're trying to find out what Seven did, and Rena's saying, you know, like, all right, explain it to me. I'm like, I don't remember. I'm like, I think it was this, <laughs> and she's like, no, I want more detail. I'm like, mm, uh, I think it was this, and then afterwards, Rena was like, oh, it's really nice of you to protect what Seven did. I'm like, no, no, I legitimately <laughs> couldn't remember what it was she did. I had no idea how to get into more detail. <laughs> From the first episode. Yeah. Like, what did she do? <laughs> no, I don't remember. <laughs> Well, technically, it wasn't that big of a thing. As they were free-falling in the elevator, oh, yeah. everyone was freaking out. And even uh, Mr. Talon was like, this is how I die. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was that full scene from Spy Kids that we were falling for like 15 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> like at that point, we're like, we've hit terminal velocity. <laughs> like there's nothing stopping us. I, we shouldn't be falling that long as well. So mm -hmm. should we were alive. suspicious. Yeah, we were suspicious. Like and then squished. the fact Seven was like, oh, I got you, bro. It's like, no, seven, seven was basically. Come on, a kid is ter. Everyone, the adults are we all terrified. All the adult would be terrified as well. Mm. Like the child would be terrified if she sees all the adults in the freaking elevator freaking Elias. out and saying like we're all gonna die. Yeah. <laughs> so she was like, I don't want to die. So right? she's yeah. like, I don't want to die, and the elevator just basically slowed. She got wish powers. Mm. Or it could also just be like they tested the whole uh, jumping in a dropping elevator thing on Mythbusters. Yeah, true. Turns out it actually, <laughs> an elevator going down that fast is going to just compress the air at the bottom so it'll kind of make a bit of a cushion and slide so down towards work. the end. So, so there maybe she's just, not actually magic. Yeah, she's just, maybe she <laughs> was just really into yeah. early 2000s yeah, TV. Fair. That's fair. I could get behind that. Mythbusters rocks. Hell yeah. But yeah, so that was our, um, our first episode. Rena, did you have the salt mines in mind as a thing they could use when you made it that? Or was that a total surprise to you? Well, it was supposed to be a different location. Okay. But then the salt mines is also supposed to be connected to that place. And I'm like, I'll give it to you. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. Because otherwise it's ridiculous that everyone's like, 
like Talon's got his like holy symbol out. New Age, they're trying to talk to the ghost. Trist is licking the yeah. wall. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Because as no. soon as you ask that question, I have, have to watch some Supernatural. And I was like, I know what you're doing. I love it. I love no, it. but at some point, they were taking... <laughs> No, this is the most. This is not the most ridiculous thing. The most ridiculous thing was the fact that they were taking turns going out of the salt circle, trying something (laughs) out on the ghost, and then running back. Like it's like, it's like um, Final Fantasy or something. You take turns attacking. Like like you made a you made a tiny hut in D and D, and then like Ranger swing in and run back. Yeah, we we did we decided to have turn based combat, but um. (laughs) Yeah, I, I'm glad it worked. It would have looked really silly if it didn't, and but it did, and um, I was very glad. But yeah, I don't think at the time Patterson and Ivy knew where I was going with it, so they were kind of like, "You're an idiot." <laughs> <laughs> They're like, "We're gonna have to stop this. Why are you licking the floor?" <laughs> and I was like, reaction. Yeah, I was like, yeah, I've saved the day. Trust me. <laughs> okay. I mean. Ivy still had the Lewis still had the coffee <laughs> which was amazing yeah, yeah. she was she drank it for like one last time and spit it back <laughs> and then gave it to oh, yeah. it was brilliant just imagining that that whole thing with her standing there with the coffee as well being like, I think I the were exchange was like you still got that coffee and she's like <laughs> sure. As a response, yeah, and she's swishing it around. Yeah, <laughs> whatever helps for her magic, I guess. Yeah, I mean, it's probably she was probably thinking like, oh, this is the last time I'll drink coffee. I'll probably die here. Savoring it. <laughs> no. exactly. I've still got this mm, dark roast. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Why? But that's the thing as well. We could have maybe, um, maybe we could have stayed in the salt circle a bit longer and tried to talk to the ghost. The no. thing is, I always, I already had tried to decided to kill the ghost the ghost before she was a ghost I thought yeah, we should get out of here. <laughs> no the problem was I would have let you guys talk a little bit longer with the ghost the problem was we were running out of time yeah. I can see at the corner of my eye like our producer also playing yeah, Mr. Like, Winters Matt going like wrap it up wrap it up <laughs> And I'm just like, okay, so you know, are you really guys? Are you guys really gonna do this turn by turn based thing? You know, the ghost is not just gonna stand there. Let's have a classic D and D two hour combat, please. Yeah, uh, <laughs> how long in game? Six seconds. How long in real life? Yeah, three and a half hours. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, that is how our first game went. I enjoyed it a great deal. Uh, it did start an unfortunate trend, which is still continuing, of the Inquisition kind of being like Trist, like create a napalm bomb out of only the utensils <laughs> in this mint. You've got Quaker Oats, yeah. a rubber band. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, as I said, the second episode, I'm, I'm pretty proud of what I come up with. Uh, it doesn't necessarily go the way I wanted it to, and I faced a scarier threat than the La Sombra in the creating of it. But yeah, I, I'm pretty happy I managed to create fire with what I had on hand. Consider me teased. Oh, the, mm. Yeah, and the problem was that the fact that I have to put do not try this at home while He's yeah. doing it. Wow. Yeah, there's a lot of... There's, there, especially with the third episode, we had to actually stop and be like, I know how to make something, but we can't go into detail into how I know how to make it. <laughs> yeah. But it's really <laughs> useful to have that yeah. we have. To. Definitely don't try this at home, but tag us if you do. Yeah, <laughs> VT dubs. Yeah, fade to black. <laughs> so, yeah, <laughs> tag us on TikTok. <laughs> We're going to be making it. <laughs> you just need a beep, and then you just need to mix in a bit more of the beep. <laughs> I'd like to watch this. Like, it's the Trist challenge. Is there something really dangerous? You have to see how long you can lick the wall. <laughs> yeah, sounds about right. But yeah. So yes, that is my my teaser for episode two. How does Trist Make fire. create fire with absolutely nothing flammable at all whatsoever nearby? And then once he has fire, what does he do with it? Dumb you, shit. Yeah, you put, you just put yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not, I'm not going into detail, yeah. Well, okay, so we'll it, watch but, uh, it. Yes. Yeah, but that works. I, I think it works. It's something to that degree works. Find out. Yes, you will. Yeah, you were really put through the ringer. Like, first yeah. episode, Baptism of Fire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was, I was full gearing up to be like, yes, I'm the IT specialist of the garden. Gonna set up so much stuff. And like, ghosts falling dead. Yep. Fun struggles for that group. Yeah, I mean, I think it's a one-two-three punch as far as the most full-on supernatural wildness, <laughs> yeah. though. I guess so. Team Bahari. I guess so. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, do you want to talk about it? Let's do it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, that was a lot of fun. So you you mentioned um, with one one show. So that was actually my first game of a uh, vampire. That no I've ever way. Punched. Nice. That's so. Which cool. is why uh, you see a lot of my forehead because I'm going back and forth through the rule book. <laughs> I'm going back and forth through the rule book to uh, to try and remember how the various things work. And the one successful roll I had of the night, 
I forgot of me, I forgot my uh, hunger dice. And so I had to re-roll it, which means I did not have a successful roll throughout the entire body <laughs> session. Seriously? It's the cursed seat. Oh, yeah, it no. is the seat. Oh, my God. <laughs> the seat next to Rina. Okay. Yeah. No. This is why we're moving recording spaces, not just because this place rocks. I can't Not just because this place rocks, but because we need to get away from the seat. You cursed seat. played your... You let... You let a first game happen. I did. I did it. They chose their seats, and I'm just like, "Are you sure about that seating?" And they're like, "We're happy." Okay, okay. Let's let's tell the audience what the cursed seat was. Okay, so technically, we are recording in a U shape, with like the tinier U being me, and the other end another table, and then the bigger U is like here. So, how do I explain this? It's like this, but yeah, square. But square, yeah, yeah square. So, I know that the. The chair closest to me. It can be either way, this way or that way. Mm. The chair closest to me will always be cursed. <laughs> they will roll. They will roll badly for the rest of the game. They unlike like UA keeps rolling too. <laughs> no, it's or two lower. Way. It's so two bad. Way. Yeah. This is some crucial moments that were like, here's your chance. Oh no. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That happened in all the games. Yeah. So yeah. hopefully we are, are we have re moved recording spaces and the yeah. curse. <laughs> so we'll find the new cursed seat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Four. I didn't know that. They didn't. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I didn't know that so either. Sorry. <laughs> That's all right. I reckon way to smash it. Your first ever right. yeah. play of the oh, game. Oh, so much fun. Being hey. recorded right yeah. then. That's awesome. There was so much sass. I loved it. Especially towards Winters, so every time people start saying Winters, I'm just like, yeah, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> See, I, I, I had not, because it hadn't aired, in yeah. fact, I think it aired while we were recording, yeah. I hadn't seen your episode, and so I didn't know, like, that side of Winters, and then once I watched it, I'm like, God, I'm happy we treated him like yeah. shit. Yeah, absolutely, we aim to please. <laughs> we just yeah. went full misandrist on him. Oh, yeah, it was great, yep. yeah. Oh, as you should, yeah, as you should, as you should, as part of the heart. Indeed, it's just a taste of what's to come. Oh, yeah. Winters, I think. <laughs> yeah. Oh. But yeah. Just vampiric Mr. reparations at that yeah, point. Oh, absolutely, yeah. yeah. Like, at this point, the Bahari are the good guys to trust. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. The bad, the bad guys are the people in his group where he's like, you watch the Inquisition. Beautiful, we got a new recruit. Yeah. Love this yeah. for us. Come over. <laughs> come through. We get... I don't know why, but I think it's because we ha are we're more experienced now with dealing with the recordings and stuff. But the Bahari episode when we recorded went so smoothly, except for the fact that there was a bee. Yes, <laughs> we had a real live bee in the garden. Yeah. I don't know yeah. why it's inside a building. Yeah. <laughs> it's, but not just there were so many doors. Yeah, so many ways. Yeah, it had to like doors had to go through windows, everything to get into a including like the recording. soundproof studio. Yeah, 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 we yeah. had like a. Some I don't know how who, who, to, who brought the bee in. I reckon it was the air vent, maybe. Yeah, That's true. the only way it could have come in. Wow. But it was like spring is just starting in yeah. Melbourne now. So. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there you go. That's to so be fair, it was a native game. bee, which uh, they do not sting. But that's not the kind of thing that you're likely minute. to listen to in a logical manner when it's flying around your recording Sorry, space. please run that by the American in the room again. You have native, native. bees who don't sting. Correct. Right? Yeah. All right. And they're really pretty. They're, they're not like uh, they're not like that bright yellow danger color that you've danger got this bee. kind of like sure. um, cobalty sort of um, blue sheen happening. They're really pretty. Oh, that's cool. And yeah, they're way more useful for pollination than the imported bees, but they don't make the same sort of honey as the imported bees, so nobody cares. Okay, sorry, we're changing the topic of this video now. No, the, pro no, the problem with Adam the bee. Adam learns Australian animal facts. <laughs> no, the <laughs> problem with the bee. No, the problem with that is the fact that I had like bad experiences with bees before yeah. because I got stung in the face before by a bee. Oh. Um, I had a fake flower tree right next That's to me right. <laughs> it wasn't shown on camera because i have to crop myself up into the tiny sd table i think it comes flower. up in a couple there's of shots there's a bit of flowers, yeah. Yeah. yeah so there's like the flower the flower right beside me and the bee kept going to the, the dumb bee kept going to the flowers and it's right beside my head i'm just like <laughs> it was very confusing for us because we rocked up and we're like oh, you know, do people want coffee before everyone's like bees <laughs> 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 like, do you guys want to see a coffee there's a bee <laughs> Okay. Think of how confusing it was to the poor bee. Yeah. <laughs> the bee's like, yes, a coffee, like, please. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you so aggressive about that this? That was a fake. Like, what am I the doing bees, The bee's like, what kind of pheromones do I got to drop to make you understand flat white with one? <laughs> That's exactly yes. it. Oat yeah, milk, fake house, flour, and all that. What is it, coffee? But yes, yeah, so I actually I went on the game that you played. The Like, Patterson, Ivy, and I remember we watching it. We were talking about it. And we are saying, like, oh, they're so experienced. Like, especially compared to our, our first episode, we like, 
we were so chaotic and that one went so smoothly like they had to have played so many times. I think so it's crazy. because um, ours, and we were talking about this like just before recording started, ours was a lot more social game. Yeah. Like there were very, very few roles. There was no combat whatsoever. Mm. Whereas you guys, um, we did not have the same. You were on a roller coaster, yeah. and then the roller coaster went off rails. Yeah, there was a beat on the roller coaster. <laughs> yeah, the, <laughs> the beat drove the roller coaster. <laughs> yeah, you but, were dropped into a very different situation. Yeah, but it was very good to watch the Bahari one. Like we, I thought it went so smooth. Like the whole time I was just like. And I have a very short attention span, oh, so really? oh, I'm yeah. usually constantly like, mm, coffee, coffee, but no, I was grouped the whole time. Oh. And then I wanted to keep finding out the mysteries, like especially when it was like, this one has a bear, this one has like a wolf. Mm -hmm. The symbolism. Yeah, what, what do the numbers mean, Mason? What, what do the yeah. numbers mean? Do yeah, no, my artistic brain was just like taking over overdrive. Like, <laughs> There's some sort of trick here, isn't it? Here's the thing. Here's the thing that the audience and the cast members doesn't know. So lower people would know that there's three sim there's two symbolisms there that are really connected to the Bahari, yeah. which is the owl and the snake. snake. Yeah. It's it's but to be a the cat, dragon, right? Isn't there huh? supposed to be a cat somewhere? As no, well? no, no. There's I supposed think to be a dragon. Which version ah, you've seen? Because okay. it's changed over the no, last. No, it's supposed to be a dragon. Yeah. Like oh, third so one. Much. Okay. But because well, you've only found like two. Oh. oh. What's happening? Always in the most important moments. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, technically, if we're going off the current lore, it should have been a fish. The fish are really important to the <laughs> Too important. Oh, we're back. There we go, we're back. Something's yeah. happening. Suspiciously important to the Bahari. Mm. Okay, okay. Say again. <laughs> Something about there's only two and then a dragon. Oh, yeah. So the dragon is like the third, basically, the Garden of Sorrows, which a lot of oh, Bahari people would recognize. Uh, the different animals the tied well. to the different mm -hmm. okay work like this all right it's the third garden because the first garden is the garden of um eden mm -hmm. yeah the garden of eden and then the second garden is where lilith and um lilith had a little bit of fancy smanshy macaroni oh, with yeah. lucifer mm -hmm. that's that a technical the, term yes, for yeah. such a supernatural <laughs> That's canon. Everything yeah. about the little book is just wild. It's, I only just started reading it. I um, didn't have a copy until Melissa. It's a roller coaster. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a, uh, you're kind of like, oh yeah, this makes sense. Like, you know, the whole biblical reference. And it's, just... it's dense too. Yeah, it's like, it takes, yeah. a, it takes a weird turn. Man. Yeah. A few weird turns. Just Lilith is like, that's it. I'm sick of you <laughs> playing with animals. I'm going to the ocean. Mm -hmm. I mean, <laughs> Adam Fox goats. Yeah, that was that was what I mean. That was the part. I was like, I'm just gonna sit there and let them I'm say pretty sure this is what my parents. <laughs> 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 this is what my parents had in mind when they named me. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. They're reading a little book and they're like, perfect. <laughs> perfect. It's just yeah. That's you know. I mean, ahi hi Lily too. That's all. Ahi hi Lily too. Come get me. No, and the problem the pro the problem is I never actually test run like the Bahari episodes because this group was supposed to be the hidden threat, like that this is happening while well, you guys are doing a threat. your thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it, it's a bit more scary, I think, now because it's so overtly like, yeah, we can't stop that. Mm -hmm. How do we stop that? Yeah. Now you can actually watch and see the train wreck, and basically because <laughs> the here's the wreck. thing with the with the timeline. Two groups, Camarilla and SI, are basically almost parallel with each other in terms of like the time. But the problem is that the SI has started a week before the Camarilla. Oh, is it? That checks out. They they would like their timeline is ahead by a week, and then the Camarilla comes in, and then after all that, after like two three days, that's when the Bahari comes in, and we get answers. Mm -hmm. I, the, I believe the Bahari episode one is taking place during. SI episode 2, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. So there you go. So you've already got sort of spoilers as to what Trist was doing when in the Bahari episode. There's like, what, what's your notification? Trist is trying to burn down a house. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 For being there, being there I've seen that. It's been like, oh, yeah. yeah because oh, yeah. during that, we say, like, where's Re Winters? Like, Winters is on a plane. It's like, oh, okay. oh, so recap of the Bahari episode. Oh, yes. Yeah. 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 Okay, yeah. Recap of the Bahari episode. Sorry, we kind of got We went a little bit. I do just want to shout out how incredibly you're just like weaving all of these timelines together. It's and, so like, impressive. The, and just like the little subtle clues like that. I completely didn't think about that. That what are they doing? They're trying to burn a house down right now. And it's like, that's going to happen in the next episode. Can't wait for more of that. <laughs> Timey-wimey shit. Yes. Okay. Anyway, yeah. please. <laughs> Give us 
to recap. Okay, sure. So we we opened up uh, on a plane, getting uh, getting out of Sydney. The last plane out of Sydney was indeed almost gone, as the song goes. Um, but that's where the similarities with Cold Chisel end, because uh, we were talking about all of the kind of trouble that uh, that we had kicked off um, and that we were getting away from. Um, this included um, Winters having screwed you guys over a little bit, um, but also you guys having screwed him over a little bit. Not enough. <laughs> N- no, well... You accidentally screwed him over a lot. I feel like if you'd been deliberately trying to screw him over, it would actually would have done (laughs) done less well than you did by accident. That's true. Um, There's the uh, the drama that I caused, uh, which did not work out how Lorna had planned, but, um, you know, we're going to see where it goes. We'll see see how she works out, you know. Um, (laughs) We finally answered the question of who's the sire. Oh, I don't know. Did you guys pick that up? I mean, look. It's suspecting. (laughs) (laughs) I got like I I had so many people, had so many red herrings that's supposed to show up. Yeah, there's so many Toreadors. Yeah, there's so many Toreadors, but unfortunately, (laughs) things happen. And I mean, look, Charlie's Charlie's on the case on that front. Detective Charlie. Oh yeah, (laughs) we've we've yeah. Yep. Yep. So we'll have to do something about that next episode. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. There's yeah. a reason why a prominent member of Sydney's camera was not in Elysium that night. Mm. Just having a night off. They're all dead. Mm. Yeah. Sorry, I was doing my hair. Sure. <laughs> Me too. Sure, sure. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I've, I've seen some dudes who go to town for like fully 90 minutes with beard oil, so um, don't, you can them. use that excuse. The closest I do is I trim this half and go, that's not even, and then I just spend hours <laughs> trying to even it, and then I go, yeah, it's nearly all gone. Yep. Um, then uh, we landed in Alice and met Nine, mm-hmm. who was a delightful character. Honestly, hard to hate. Yeah. <laughs> there, there. I know. I know. We. I know. We're probably thing, supposed to be very it. sus of her, but it's just like, oh babe. Yeah. Aww. It's too sweet. That's the sweetest Alice ever is. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's their interaction. Right. Right. <laughs> as, as Alice started talking tonight, I don't. I give a look to Winters, and I'm like. It's like, what is happening? She's a wizard. Yeah, it was terrifying. No, the fact that the fact that the moment um Alice said it, she's one of mine, everyone else did the check. <laughs> like, it's oh, like yeah. really? Nobody trusts me? Mm, no. <laughs> Absolutely not. They're clearly right to do that. Yeah. Yeah. Sweetness aside. That's true. Right. Uh then uh going through the uh the, the classic um the classic hidden door in the in a broken cubicle. Um, I really do want to have on one of the on like an episode promo thing the shittest oh. fuck cunts <laughs> poster. Uh, it'll probably happen. Yeah. <laughs> I can see it. Um, yep, yeah, through to a a magical garden with magic sunlight and all sorts of schmick shit, which uh, was definitely a lot of fun. At which point we started being like, right, you need to tell us how, and she's like. Eh, can wait till tomorrow evening, mm-hmm. which was not sus at all, remotely. Um, meanwhile, M- Winters is uh, is outside, which uh, having a bit of a you know a phone call, finding out about things getting burnt down. Um, don't know the details of that. I'm sure it'll come out in the wash in maybe Me like three weeks' time. Yeah, and yeah. seven continuing to escape. Just escaping more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's good. Yeah, it's the, yeah. the Betty Hill just yeah. chasing yeah. Yeah. constantly yeah. just come yeah. back. So that's fun. Yeah. Um, then, yeah, the following evening, started uh, started making some plans, started getting a little bit ambitious, started dropping some hints as to our ambitions, but also started getting really, really worried because... Or do you want to talk us through your vision? We, oh, well, yeah, I had a vision, and then we that got a letter with a bunch wild. of stuff in it. So many things. Including some more visions. Yeah, true. Okay, so the first vision, I think, happened on the first night when I, we, we were all yeah, su- suspecting just... suddenly. We were like, well, let's just see if we can figure out what this is. Um, and, yeah, as far as I remember, that it was uh, red earth, um, lots of naked women worshipping a big white aged tree, um, and then... A, a hand on the shoulder and a voice saying that I'm not supposed to be there and I'm like fuck you I'll do what I want <laughs> and then getting pulled back and realising you're not my real sire yeah <laughs> um, yeah so that's interesting because it is kind of there is some Lilith imagery in there but it's also 
why are we not supposed to see it and why is this all connected and then we got some answers the next night with a very creepy package with a bunch of things about somebody clearly knows exactly what's up and it seems like Queen Jin are also involved maybe um yes yeah, so what else we had a spoon from someone there was a bell uh, there was bell. three photos of very similar looking people so someone's pieced it together yes those three people are seven eight and nine and then there was a message saying but how? match <laughs> indeed and the, a, dis- a dictionary description of match so they, they to make sure that we didn't think the kind of thing that could burn a house down mm, indeed yes <laughs> the other kind of match so someone has connected these three very similar looking people who that is we don't know yet no but we also got part of that it was like a requisition order or something there was some sort of government thing about experiments in there so they also know that at least part of this is connected to the SI and their little garden of experiments so. it's fun place. fact it's a real document oh really yeah it's a real yeah. CIA yeah. document nice. wow. the real CIA of Cordus crap uh, if uh, if this goes suddenly dark, we'll all know why. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. None of us, it's all right. None of us are democratically elected leftist leaders of the country, so we're, we're not on the hit list. Probably. Yeah, yeah. Low, low on the totem pole. Mm-hmm. For... There's a um, in one of just when you mentioned when I was watching the hand grabbing you, in I think it's the world, the werewolf, the apocalypse book. Just for what I thought of. There's a werewolf going around meeting all the tribes, and he gets to one tribe and immediately just something shoves him into the ground and just says, like, you're not meant to be here. And it's, it's just there in the ground the whole time, like, uh, Uh-oh. okay. And like, and then like it ends up saying, like, the werewolf's like, oh, this is why I'm here. And then this spirit just goes, like, mm, and just, like, slices his back open and then leaves. Oh. So when I was watching, I'm like, uh-oh. His <laughs> dash about to be like, and then my spine is removed. Uh. <laughs> but it was a vision, so it's okay. Not yet. Yeah. Yeah, as we've established... Visions and illusions have no consequences. <laughs> yeah. Definitely shouldn't be afraid of those. No, they're all helpful. They give clues. Great clues. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah, what else? Um, oh, yeah, so the, yeah, there was a bell that was related to a vision about some Kui Jin. Um, so whoever's put this package together is giving that hint as well. And then a spoon, which was an old person that turned young and then left somewhere. And I couldn't pick out what they were, right? So that's another mystery. So now we have to just, I guess, go and figure out who these people are. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> For as many uh, as many questions uh, from the other ones as we managed to completely accidentally answer, we raised, I think, about uh, six mm-hmm. questions for every answer. Again, like shout out to Rena for just yeah, like, it's incredible. <laughs> dropping so many layered mysteries, it's just great. Like we thought we would be dropping all the truth bombs on the other episodes, <laughs> and we're like, what is this? <laughs> we have to solve things now. <laughs> yeah. Well, I didn't want you guys to have like a boring session, and I already like okay. So here's the thing. <laughs> here's my mindset, okay? So I've got supposed to be the Sabat episode. I've got the Sabat, the Camarilla, I've got the SI, I've got the Bahari in the background, I've got another group here as well, well and a third. Well, group confirmed. Oh, no. <laughs> that's why like we have like the outros, because aside from that, something's also happening yes. somewhere else, and I'm just like, okay, so I'm just trying to piece everything together and make sure all my schedules are lined up. This is all happening while I'm on my way to work. (laughs) I feel like this is now just a Marvel extended universe game. Like, how many threads are there? Kindred of the multiverse. Very giving that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But rest assured, every th- little thing that you are now like like know and have experienced in the first episode, second episode, third episode will be answered in the future episodes. Mm. I'm excited we got more Kuei Jin in it when the, in the Bahara game there was more Kuei Jin. I was like, yes, all the Kuei Jin. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of hard not to put them in because uh, you know how scarce the lore of Australia is when it comes mm. to World of Darkness? One of the main lore that we have is the fact that Adelaide is actually a Quajian territory since 1999. So that's like a big ass, like all the Quajians are there, they all congregate there. So what's the point of avoiding the subject if, you know, they're there. So you're avoiding a whole city, you're going to change and basically face out a whole 
species yeah, of Yeah, I guess it's that thing of like, you know that there's this existing lore, but it's both scarce and yeah. like in dispute. It's probably so. going to be superseded mm-hmm. as yeah. soon as they get around to it. Sure. But it's like, well, you're making a story here, so why not just say, here's how I want them yeah. to work yeah. with this dynamic we've got. Exactly. Yeah. Australia's not touched. Like, I think maybe in Werewolf 5th Edition they yeah. might touch on, but I don't think they're going to even do Like, unless they like, the werewolves took Adelaide. But then Adelaide's a werewolf town, and I'm very curious what a werewolf town would look like. But, you know, the fact that World of Darkness um, is trying to be more inclusive, because with the recent Hunter book, they actually put so Filipino good. stuff in there. Yeah. It shocked me. I'm, I was <laughs> hyped. I was hyped, and I was telling, like, Lou, like, oh yeah. my god, look at this! The little girl is there! Yeah, this was some, some stories we grew up with. Like, those are folklore actually like yeah. we're told of like our elderly people would tell us like hey don't go out at this time of night because you know there might be ghost children or god forbid vampires oh, so, wow. yeah our yeah. version of vampires Wait, is this you telling me that some of the stuff you were telling me recently is going to get dropped on charlie's head in a few episodes <laughs> oh, oh i don't know i don't know we got... was just casually telling me some of this filipino folklore the other day i was like Whoa. <laughs> that's a good <concern. laughs> But yeah, we've got like the, the, technically we have a blanket term for like um, all the monsters, which is uh, Aswang. Mm. So vampires also go into that. And one of the most, I don't know, it's like mostly wildly accepted thing is the fact that the Pasig River, um, there's like a wet market next to them. And a lot of people try to avoid that wet market because they, I don't know for you, but for my like elderly, they always help me like oh that's where the Aswa congregate they, that's where they get their meat so oh we have God. to avoid that's that rad. place I love this that's like full like Hellboy Goblin market yeah. so it is uh, that's the Filipino changeling area yeah. Yeah. We, we don't go there uh, we're not allowed to go to that area because you know there are some stories there where they actually sell like human, human body parts wow. yeah, not, not that it's true or anything but yeah. uh, it's, it's but, what old people tell us but the fact that they found a lot of dead bodies in the Pasig River is also like a bit yeah. telling yeah. <laughs> okay blurring the lines a little let's, bit let's, yeah. let's not go into that, go into that. but yeah, yeah. so um, Quajin's like part of the story now that we have actual like you know Chinese people playing their culture <laughs> you know like I, I talked to Ivy about this like like I want to bring Quajin into the story because I think it's really nice because I also like know a lot of the cultures here because I'm half Chinese so other half of me is like oh, I really want to bring this story in. Yeah, such good books. Mm-hmm. I love but then books. everyone's like it's it's you know it's bad. It's, it's, it was written a long. 1995. Long time ago. Yeah. 1995, you know the movies and jokes yeah. during that time? It's like really mm-hmm. racist and I bad. I jokes on the name, not in, let alone now, but like I watch old TV shows and you still like, and I'm like, oh, that doesn't fly now. Yeah, that's not cool. Can't like, air that. Now that nowadays. I'm older, I watch this and I'm like, that's not cool. Mm. Yeah, but that's why we wanted to retake the culture at least yeah. and remove all the bad stereotypes. That's why mm-hmm. like, I have Dr. Yui say, like, that's uh, Quajin heresy or something. Oh, nice. <laughs> But the, the same, like, Rage Across Australia, I think, is 1994. Yeah, 94. Yeah, I reread it pretty recently. Yeah. yeah. So, the Australian yeah. law in World of Darkness is pretty scarce. I think. Yeah. Yeah. It's, and that's it why <laughs> that's why we are creating our own lore. Absolutely. <laughs> Starting. <Including Saracy>. Yeah. <laughs> New law <lore> plus Saracy. <laughs> <laughs> the Banana Prince. I don't know why you... <laughs> Hashtag banana it's, prince. It's still like, I think I mentioned this the other night when we went out, but when I first auditioned for this, and Rena was said to me, like, I have a perfect char- f- character for you to play. Like, the characters <laughs> that I play, Trist is very different for me, are gangrel, werewolves, D&D barbarians and druids. So for some sort, like, you would make a perfect Toreador. It's just like a... I need to go wash some clothes. <laughs> wow. Yeah, but the fact that, um, you know, like the only illustration of Prince Saracen is bald and he wears like the yellow jacket thing. Banana Prince. Banana Prince. Yeah. On top of like the, the monochromatic uh, sunglasses at night. I'm just like, I need somebody who's bald. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate no. you. Uh, you've worn the yellow jacket mm. in recordings bef- at this you point, You have right? Saracen yeah. before. <sighs> I miss the yellow jacket. Need to borrow Polina's yeah. <laughs> Sprint Siege. Yeah. Be instead. Oh, do yeah, you, yeah. you don't have creatures called yellow jackets here, though, do you? That's maybe no, an American no, no, thing. No, 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 it's a little yeah, kind of stinging, stinging bug. Yeah. Anyway. 
But yeah, so we want to basically restart Australia's lore of World of Darkness starting with the Heart of Australia. That's why I wanted to include as many beings as possible, mm-hmm. if I could. Uh, some of the things might not show up until Season 2 because we do want to have uh, the elders, uh, basically the traditional owner's permission to show some of the content and basically have it curated to see if it's insensitive or not. So that won't show up until season two, but I've got a lot of things happening in the background. <laughs> season two, which is definitely going to happen because all of you are going to like and subscribe yeah, and <laughs> recommend to <laughs> your yeah, friends. Find out what Tris burns next. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want <his> friendships. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want to disappoint the amazing Jeff. Yes, that's true. That's true. Oh, you guys won't know this yet, but you know, Lou is going to be playing as Jeff in the future. Yes. The amazing Jeff. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> oh, so chaotic. I love Jeff. I said, I'm, I, Jeff and I are, we're buddies. I, I like Jeff too. I don't know, like, um, Talon and Yui doesn't like Jeff. Is the fact that. Yeah, but no, no. People. Yue likes Jeff as well. It's, Talon doesn't like Jeff and wants to kill Jeff. <laughs> I, I feel like it's a long shot to say Talon likes things. Yeah. Like, I think there's that's things Talon tolerates. wants to kill, yeah. and then there's things that he can't be bothered killing right now. Yeah, he tolerates. But yeah, I, I strongly have a feeling, especially the way everything's going, it's like, mm, season two, it's like, there's no longer a second Inquisition group, there's just now a group of five and a group of the six <laughs> with the other groups. I feel like yeah. second Inquisition, Talon is like t- real Tommy Lee Jones and Men in Black energy, and yeah. the rest of you combined are Will Smith's character. <laughs> <laughs> like oh my gosh, Frank. he, he described it perfectly. Yeah. It's actually that. Yeah. When I was watching it, I was like, Mr. Talon is... He reminds me of somebody. That's K. From, That's K. Yeah, it's, it's Agent K. Mm-hmm. And then there's you guys. <laughs> That's it. I'm Frank the Pug. That's what I'm <laughs> <laughs> no, the no, I keep, I keep, I keep telling you guys. Oh, no. uh, <sighs> should I just give up on this thing? Turn this into a podcast. There's gonna be so many cuts in the audio. Oh, uh, wait till episode. That's like right. now, this is all recording. Episode three. We had to stop filming. I think about seven times. Because anytime for some reason we said someone's name, Rina's stomach was full of Oh, yeah! Rrr. Margaret! Oh, we'd say Margaret and have to say the <laughs> mic would pick up Rina's stomach. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was yeah. Yeah. just a bunch yeah. of demons Alice's, in your stomach. Yeah, your Melissa's stomach was growling all through that like final half hour. And I was just like, leave it in because it's so in character. <laughs> yes. it's like, yeah, we all for know Alice right. to be like, I'm absolutely fine. It's a non negligible percentage of our group chats on recording days or us figuring out how we feed Rena yeah. over the course yeah, of the day. Yeah, Just because you're, you're locked inside that recording room for 10 hours yeah, or something. I, no, I keep telling Matt as well because both of us are bad at remembering to eat something I in think between. I cannot understand yeah. in, in, in a person. That's I why. I haven't eaten dinner yet. I'm my the, stomach's like, sup. Mm. <laughs> I'm the opposite. I forgot that I've eaten, so I keep eating. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's like me and Matt. That's why I, I we had like an agreement like, okay, so we will both order food before we get here so that it's there and we will stop and eat because at the end of it, like, oh, this is something that you guys don't know about, like, except for Adam. But after the last recording episode of Bahari oh and the God. SI, we were like, we lost the SD card with all the audios, oh, no. audio files, like the whole day's oh, worth no. of recording. Flashed to us in front of my apartment, <laughs> tearing apart the inside of Matt's car, looking at Yeah, I was wondering. An SD card is this <laughs> Did big. Did you find it? Uh, here's the yeah. thing, we didn't at first. For <laughs> no. like 10 minutes, panic looking. I've torn apart all of my gear. Oh, we're looked through it. Like every, we've taken the floor mats out of this car and like, and then we, we there's, there's this moment of dead silence. We're all looking at each other like, are we about to accept that this is the case? And then no. Matt, Matt and Rena are like, let's go back to the library and look around on the ground there just in case. And I get, I'm get i sitting there for like 20 minutes just slowly unpacking my stuff in my apartment like, we're going to get good news. We're going to get good news. <laughs> and my phone buzzes. And Rena's like, we found uh, it! Nice. <laughs> no, you can't. It was me. <laughs> It was like, Wait, but it, where on the ground? I didn't actually okay, find out so where you here, found it. Okay, so here's the thing. I didn't know what was happening because, like, remember, I was, like, messaging Lou, like, oh, we're just dropping people off. I'll be back there in, like, 15 minutes. Like, and then I was, like, sitting there because I was, like, zoning out. And then Matt has, like, come, come, gone out. I thought he was just helping you with your stuff. And then it's, like, 15 minutes. I'm, like, what's happening with this guys? And then I, I got out of the car and they're, like... 
the you the, uh, the SD card is missing. We're like halfway through re-narrating. Like now, retrace your steps. Like you were you went to the and bathroom. Matt, I remember you went to the and bathroom. And Matt is like, I don't know. There's a black in my memory. I don't know. And so I'm was like, it on the ground. Like where? Yeah. Okay. So we want we get back to the library, and then we park on the same spot. And I got out and I'm like, Matt, if we don't find this, I'll cry. <laughs> so. I went to the booth because, you know, obviously that's where it w- should be. And then I looked down and it was right there blending in with the bricks because it's the same color as the bricks it's outside. outside. So it was outside. outside. Matt, Matt and I, well, this it is where could the have been ran place. over by another car because, because... I asked when we got out there, I was like, have you gotten the SD card from, from my Zoom? And he was like, oh my God, thank you for saying that. So, and then he even thought, he was like, let's move over to the bricks because there's slats in the ground on this footpath right here. It could fall in the ramp that is the accessible ramp to the library. And I'm like, good thinking. And wow. that's where the drop happened. Oh my God. <laughs> no, I remember <laughs> looking over at you guys and Matt going, I got the USB, racing it into the air. And I'm like, okay, so he's got the USB. <laughs> and then the SD card and then suddenly SD card missing. Oh it was in the ground. Another car was parked there before we got there. And I was so worried like, oh God, it could have been ran right. over. Right. Yeah. It's so lucky. And nobody knows. <laughs> I mean, it was so unlucky and then so very lucky. Yeah. Yeah, we had no it's idea. the first time hearing of yeah. this. That's like Holy seven shakes. hours of audio yeah, would have just been like gone. <laughs> Me and Matt in the car was just like, let's not panic. And Matt's like, what if we panic? Let's not panic. We'll panic later. And he's like, okay, so what do we do? And I'm like, oh, I don't know. Use the audio from the camera. I don't know. No. It's like, no, it's bad. But what do we do? I don't know, panic. I, we can't panic. <laughs> he just did willpower damage to lose. Just like, yeah. Use Stop. the camera Psychic audio. Psychic damage all day. Oh, not like this. No, well, it's like... The things about changing as well is we don't have that recording room anymore. Because yeah. Because something that was a massive struggle, especially during tense moments, is when you're like, they're filming and there's people in the recording room just like snacking on KFC. Like... <laughs> <laughs> Stop watching us. Highly distracting. <laughs> so nothing's gonna get lost in there at least yeah, anymore. Because I lost so much stuff. Oh yeah, I lost a cupcake tray. I lost an iPad. I ha- oh you have I it. I have it. IPad. I Yay. forgot to bring it no, today. <laughs> um, yeah. But yeah, it's it's such a chaotic like recording days and everything. But now we have a forever home, which is more yes. flexible than our yes. current one. Exciting. Plus, everyone's so flexible with like catch ups and everything. Especially since moving is very um, stressful. Also, which is funnier, that is the fact that Jason Carl says like the bee might have been a drone, <laughs> and was. then we're moving the recording oh, I've spaces. I've seen that Black Mirror episode. Yeah, <laughs> I saw that episode. I'm like, mm. and then. There's no rare bees in World of Darkness that I know <laughs> no. of. They're that we know of. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm about to hit up Jason saying, like, we're moving recording spaces because we don't want to risk the fact that the bees are drone. Uh, I'll give you Insta hacks, but nanobot bees? Yeah. yeah. Stop Too being far. silly. Too far. <laughs> uh, is there an SCP about a bee that's you, a drone? There is. Oh, there One might be. One of the abilities be. hunters have is they can have an animal companion. Mm. So I'll push hard to get just... Maybe. Oh, you know, it's actually, it's just Alice's hive. Oh, but, yeah. But yeah. Right. We did talk about that at yeah. the time. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. But yeah, like, second inquisition, at least in my mind, the garden. I don't know why you guys named it the garden. It made things very confusing. It was very confusing. I think it was because we were, because this is before we knew the Bahara, just for, so for the people watching, which everyone here knows, is when the Bahara it was revealed we were having a new group, Rena, the way Rena did it was message on our discord there's going to be this hidden secret group that none of you are going to know who they are and then <laughs> names the group channel the bahara <laughs> <laughs> i was, didn't know it was me like it was it not private hidden, yeah <laughs> it was a so, public oh, server oh okay so they're the bahari i was like shut up <laughs> <laughs> my phone was just. Bzz, 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 bzz. <laughs> and then like, you what changed is going it on? to like the the hidden group, but like after everyone had been like, oh, okay, it's the Bahari. So. I didn't know it's too it late. Yeah. I've seen everything. The chest full of like, oh, so it's the Bahari. Like, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, but do. it's like, I didn't name like the no, Pine no, Gap as that. they named it. Their group named I think it, it was as Paris the Garden. Who did it because we were looking at Pine Gap and we were saying what. No, it was that we had that running joke that when we were working at Pine Gap, we need to be like the secret group. So we're just like, yeah, no, we're just the gardeners, and, like with our like high tech guns, like we're just gardening. And then <laughs> Mr. Talon took the name the Gardener of Pine Gap, and then from there it just kind of evolved into the garden. Yeah. Which, so you're you gonna know. take the garden too. So this is a good time to announce <laughs> that Camarilla that? is rebranding as the Society for Saint Leopold. That's <laughs> our that's our new name. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. Okay, pretty much. But yeah, it's like. 
I already had like the Bahari people in mind already. So you guys naming it the, the garden, yeah, I'm like. That is confusing. Okay, so I've got this thing now that I can Does, connect it to. Especially the books become the Sabak book came out with their like gardener feeding ability. Yes. So we're all like, oh, maybe we shouldn't have done this. Mm. Like it seems <laughs> confusing. So what's a new name? Let's workshop one now. <laughs> oh, something. Well, based on the way, like we could call it the cabin in the woods. To be honest, based on the way it's being yeah. operated. I kind of like if you call it the winter garden. That's true, uh, but I don't want to give Winters anything. That's other than don't give him any credit. Yeah. Yeah. Especially because he's an oh, okay. guy too. You can go with <laughs> some other like generic role. Be like, I don't know. You're yeah, a Swedish yeah. plumber. You're here to fix their pipes. That yeah. sounds like a point of um, yeah. Based on which again, yeah. people don't know this because it's not in the third. We call it the kitchen just because for some damn fact which is sort of spoilers but for the episode everyone seems to be really obsessed with overtly just walking into the cafeteria being like dum, 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 i'm in the kitchen i think the cafeteria is a better name than the kitchen oh, cafeteria. that has such that bureaucratic yeah. nightmare yeah. Yeah, name that's true. Yeah. That, that, that does fit well nothing good ever happens in the cafeteria <laughs> yeah so wrapping it up Wait, Every you are halfway yeah. through a fun fact. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I want more, fa I want oh, yeah, more fun, fun facts, please. A little fun fact, though, is that the SI group and Matt and me actually made a whole layout of the second negotiation, like the Pine Gap oh, cool. uh, base. We there is it. a very um, comprehensive list of where everything is. And so now you're on an ASIO watch list. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I've had the ASIO yeah. and Google the CIA and Pine Gap watching me since the start of this because I keep watching and reading about Pine Gap and the fact that I found a group of people who sued Pine Gap because they decided that I'm gonna go and uh, basically barge into Pine Gap yeah, because no, of blah blah blah. blah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh I found the actual file, like like, like their, their whole court case. I found it and I've just been reading it and I'm pretty sure I'm in some kind of... Look, the like, reason yeah. we needed that though, because for our first one shot when we did met everyone, that we went there and Winters is like, all right, your task is to find an employee named Jeff. I'm like, okay. Uh... All right, where would Jeff be? And they're like, well, Jeff was last seen in his lab. So we're like, all right, we go to Jeff's lab. And we're like, all right, well, where else could he possibly be? So we sort of started there in that whole one shot. And then Jeff turned out to be in his room, which is fine. But we didn't know Jeff had, like, there were rooms <laughs> there. Like, And so we ended up being like, all right, we need to get on paper a plan of what this place has, because otherwise we're going to be like, all right, do, do we have an armor, a garage? Like, what do we have? Do we now have a cafeteria? Yeah, exactly yeah. right. Yeah, God, I wish I'd written that one off. <laughs> Got your dungeon map now, ready, yeah. ready to go. Yeah. I'm glad to hear that about your terror watch list things. I was like, the things I'm googling for Charlie's backstory. Uh, <laughs> I really don't want to read a comprehensive list. Mm. Yeah. Hello, we're just, um, we're just tabletop players. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. That's yeah. Episode three, we had to have a discussion for Trist. <laughs> things we were making, being like, let's just not go into detail how he's making, and just be like, at the end, he has this. Yeah. Doesn't matter how. <laughs> Like, I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm guessing it either involves um, uh, explosives or methamphetamines. Possibly both. There's no audio. There's no visual. So I can <laughs> do some hand waving. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Not me definitely not, it's explosives. Most so. of us grew up reading Tomorrow Where the Ball Began, so most yeah, exactly. of us know like, the way that it. someone who grew up on a farm would make explosives. Yeah, exactly. Please. No, yeah. at this point, since we like, I basically lost like the fledgling episode because I have a an idea of how to do it already. Since we lost that, I, the fact that everyone is intermingling with each other and mm. guesting in each other's game, which is amazing, because it wasn't a prospect before because of some issues. Now that it's a prospect and everyone wants to guess in each other's games, oh, I think yes. we can have like a mixed episode. Yeah, yeah. I think that would be pretty cool to see yeah. all of the like, group. I, I would like to see everyone rotate to absolutely yeah. everybody putting in little appearances. Like yeah. obviously, there's things I'm more excited for, like a little mother daughter reunion time. Oh, <laughs> so cute, oh, baby. Oh, um, the baby. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, there's so many different permutations was... of the. I want to see. Um, I want to see the Bon Hokim and Mr. Talon. Uh, yeah, the same I'm, <laughs> oh, no. I'm, I'm very excited like to if, have a chance. I, I feel like if he was a vampire, he would be Bon Hokim. Quite literally, in my case. Yeah. 
No, I just think I think that uh, Charlie and Talon have a lot of overlap yes. in the roles they play, mm-hmm. or in some respect, and they have that like they're both kind of soldier types mm-hmm. or scrappers. I think that's that's a term Patters used once in describing yeah. him as a scrapper. I'm like, oh, Charlie, he and Charlie are gonna have to talk. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The same with Dasha and Yue. Like I feel like Dasha oh, yeah. and Yue. Oh both. God, yes. Yeah. I can't wait oh, I can't to wait to watch that. Yes. So that just means that Maxi and myself <laughs> 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 and Argent. Someone's going to leave Maxi Argent and Tristan. Uh, <laughs> See, I was just gonna say either we apologize to Jeff in advance, or maybe, maybe I don't know. Jeff, I feel like us. Jeff holds his own with yeah. the SI folks, so like it, it's only I feel like it's Jen you have to worry about. I, I, <laughs> I'll have to see. We'll, we'll yeah. see. We'll see. I mean, yeah. he's all for it. I mean, Jeff is he's excited. Wow. You know, he's he's excitable. Yeah. My favorite he, part about anticipating that is that Charlie is such an old man with technology, and I feel like Jeff oh, is like no. Jeff is like he's gonna have so much fun. Tech. Jeff has yeah. six PS5. Yeah. 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 Jeff does have six PS5. I'm like, what, what's the caliber on a PS5? <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> like, what is that? Very good. Like, you, can, you can get me PS5. Is, is that a <laughs> nitrogen boosted? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't understand. Oh yeah, and Jen also is like on TikTok, right? So, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh no. Oh, so, like, oh, I can no. see the the tech oh, I, I, hanging out. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's because that was the original idea when my first character was going to be some that they were trying to kidnap Jen and accidentally got me instead, and we were gonna have just a like a chat, like we're just gonna have a TikTok <laughs> chat. No, yeah, no, no, no one stops us. So we may as well. And I still plan to do that when I eventually actually meet any anybody who I want to talk to. But I'll just I'll, I'll, I'll email you. Which I'm doing right now. I just use Jeff's email. Oh, nice. Hey. Of course. All right. The fact that everyone's intermingling is really amazing. Mm. Plus, you got seven, eight, nine to deal with. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, I told you you're build. On site. What? <laughs> <laughs> can, 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 you Jeff, can Jeff shoot her on site? I is swear. that how we're gonna learn that yes. Jeff is six? Oh shit. <gasps> Who is afraid of <laughs> seven? Face right now. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's like Jeff is, uh, <laughs> fully six. Oh. You can't see me, but I'm throwing a shocker right I, I now. I wanted him to gear up and be like the SEAL Team Six time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna quote that. Yeah, That's yeah. just Jeff playing Call of Duty. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, true, true. I believe that. I've got, I don't know. It'll be revealed. Yeah, I. A lot of things are gonna be revealed at the end of season one. Yes. Um, big things. A lot of things about seven, eight, nine, which you guys are uncovering. It's gonna be amazing. The next episode is gonna be chaotic mm-hmm. for a lot of people. Episode two is gonna be chaotic I for everyone. Episode two has been my favorite so far. Um, but the recordings for everyone else will be also chaotic, considering the fact that I now have a timeline of what's happening and the fact that. <laughs> I'm sorry I can't say, but it's really funny with Maxi. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Yet. What? I don't know why everyone just says, I'm nice. I have, so far, I have caused, I have killed nobody. I have hurt nobody except for a ghost. I'm very peaceful. But yeah, so let's wrap it up. I'm just gonna tell you guys that my favorite for like episode one is the fact that there are three kinds of intensity, which I have told you guys. Like with the, my games, you can go from one, two, or three in regards of how chaotic it will be. And so far, we have all three intensities. <laughs> I'm awaiting anything but three <laughs> at any point. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, yeah. Something my favorite part of the episode one for each group. My favorite part of the Bahari. Uh, was just yeah, seeing a very chill, scary sort of with, with a whole bunch of just very powerful individuals having a chat. Uh, my favorite part of the Camarilla. Uh, I mean, it's hard not to say the fuck box. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's hard not to. But uh, outside of that, was seeing uh, Saracen in action. Uh, and my favorite part of my game was yeah, licking walls paid off. Licking <laughs> wall, lick a wall, save a life. <laughs> nice. Got some favorites, Jeff? <laughs> oh, uh, Jeff, if he, he knew everything. Uh, he was old. Yeah. Uh, I think his favorite um, moment from each episode was similar to uh, the Camarilla was the, the fuck box, definitely, 100%. <laughs> you, can't, you can't go past Yeah. Uh, the Bahari, I really like the symbolism there because uh, I'm a big Lilith fan, ex Bahari member. Uh, oh, what? Yeah. Um, and I, I really like the way that uh, the owl, the visions have brought in the, you know, the imagery of Lilith itself without actually hinting it's Lilith, you know, straight up. 
um, and the SI one was how you guys handled it. The whole demon ghost thing, because I definitely would have just shot. I wanted on yeah, I was on shoot lane. Like, like this is ripple possessed. Okay, I'm Take out of here. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, okay. Uh, favorite part of the uh, of the Camaray episode is just like, um, obviously quite selfish by me, but like seeing just like the seeds of chaos that I planted, <laughs> not going at all how uh, how Lorna intended it to, but creating some really great chaos, with very ably assisted Indeed. by Tasha. <laughs> yes. um, God, with the with the SI, it's just like. You, you guys are just a very zero to one hundred group. Like there's no there's no subtle crescendo of intensity like there is with us. It's just like and now the now everything is on fire and we're gonna murder someone, uh, which is a lot of fun. And my favorite thing from uh, from Alice was just like I think how smoothly we all settled into our characters and like we had that character even though like we hadn't had a conversation in character. That first conversation we had on the plane was just we immediately understood the dynamics and so it felt true. really, really um, natural and cool and lived in. Yeah, that's so true. I completely forgot that, that was our first actual sitting together and was your that first actually? one ever. Yeah, yeah. that's why like, it, it was, was so, so well. fluid. Yeah. <gasps> yeah. Like that's hard. It's hard. It's hard to get that like in, in first time with first time games with like random yeah. people. Oh. It was like, it, it was so, it was so rushed, the Bahari, because I only, like, I was rushing Matt to, like, help me finish, like, up the episode and then give me the laptop and everything. To, cause do, the editing. to do the editing. Everything's so rushed, but I love how it turned out. It's, like, it was impressive. <laughs> yeah. It was so chill. Well done. Yeah. I think that's my new favorite thing about the episode. <laughs> yeah. That was our I'm changing first thing. And, like, yeah, that was your first game. Oh, he did so well. Yeah, that, and I think, um, yeah, just getting to know a few little secrets about the characters as well, like still being surprised and delighted, definitely. Um, yeah, I think I really, I said this before, but I really love the the bants that the SI have throughout. <laughs> like, honestly, I love that. I love that you kept the levity even through some really tough situations that Rena's just going to continue to throw you through. Yep. Please don't lose that. I know you're like, oh, we need to be more serious and badass. No, don't don't do it. <laughs> don't, just don't. <laughs> Please don't. It's possible yeah. at this point. Please don't. Um, and yeah, with the cam, obviously, like Malice is just yeah. top tier. Malice is great. Yeah, but I also love the the way that Rena is weaving these illusions as well, and the imagery there, and like the absolutely, you know, how the scene that they walked into on the plane, and then it was like, oh, that's just not there anymore, and then just yeah, the tension that that caused was really good. So yeah. Um, gosh, hard not to say Malice as well for for my favorite <laughs> cam thing. So, but in order, since since it's been given its due, I'll say. Um, one of my favorite things about the the cam first episode was a that uh, all of the coder members sort of got a bit of a solo shot at doing themselves, yes. and I really felt like I got to see Maxi be Maxi and like see Delilah at, at her like lowest point, <laughs> and, and Jen got to be fully Jen. I don't know, it was really lovely, um, and I felt that being like. Uh, Rena, I felt you gave me exactly what I was looking for when I built Charlie as someone who has status in the Camarilla, but in a very specific way. And so he still gets to be like this, like he has no charisma. <laughs> he gets absolutely, absolutely shat on by all these people. Um, and I was like, that's exactly the kind of baseline I wanted for him. So I was really, I, I found that really fun. Um, for the second Inquisition episode, I, <laughs> I love that like my a background headcanon I have about the Inquisition is that it's basically the Camarilla. Like they are, they are like bureaucratic nightmares. They're basically yes. the same, right? And so I feel like that was on full display. Yeah. Yeah. Because like you've worked in an office. <laughs> yes, <laughs> like, you know, university. Yeah. Um, oh God, yeah. But, but yeah, like the idea that you have these massive institutions that are super, like they have a lot of power, but then also corruption and they work against themselves. Like that's the thing that unites them. And it's so funny seeing them on opposite sides of the same problem. Um, and I love that. And I love um, about the Bahari episode. I am, I love deep, like mythological, biblical mythos stuff. And so seeing these little teasers of the images and stuff, I'm like, I can't wait to see our group get thrown in amongst that, especially because of the blood sorcery stuff we've got going. And then like Charlie's got this whole Dante's Inferno's obsession thing going, which has animal animus. So every time I see this stuff, I'm like hooks, I'm grabbing into that yeah. for, for later. Excited. That's the great thing because each episode you watch, even if it's not your own, you learn stuff about your own episode. Yes. Oh, that's what that was there for. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's yeah. great. Yes. 
Like, absolute props to Rain of yeah, Blood. Yeah. And even if you don't watch the other episodes, like, you'll you still understand the story. Yeah, yeah true. That's, that's the point of why I wanted this whole three campaign thing. Because it's like, you, will, you want to learn a little bit more, you can watch the other ones, but mm. you don't have to. No. You can just watch one group the whole way and you'll still understand the story. But you absolutely should watch them all. Yes. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I can yeah, subscribe and all of that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, thank you guys for joining us for the episode one recap. Um, catch us for the episode two, Camarilla, next week. Episode two recap's gonna be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Get excited! Get excited for this one. <laughs> it's gonna be even more confusing because you'll by that point have like three or four under uh, your belt. I'm gonna to start like, writing notes. So honestly, honestly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm gonna end up being like, what's what's the that kid who plays Spider Man who just reveals everything coming up? I'll end up being like that guy. <laughs> Yeah. Tom Holland. <laughs> I'll end up being red centered by night, Tom Holland. <laughs> yeah. So, well, catch us again next month for the, another recap. Once again, my name is Rina. I am the storyteller for Red Center by Night. My name, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I'm Lou, uh, and I'm the uh, person that streams the show. Well, uh, I'm also going to be playing Jeff. Awesome. I'm Joel, and uh, I play Triss. I am Tara, and I am playing Lorna. I'm Sophie, and I'm playing Dasha. I'm Adam, I'm playing Charlie. And that's Red Center by Night first episode recap! Yay! Yay! <laughs> Feel the vibe, <bite>, man. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Oh my God, he's dead. <laughs> no, we're the ones who are dead. Yes. Inside. All right. I'll allow it. <laughs> Can I vote that we start a story with good? <laughs> I hate starting with evil. It's only downhill. <laughs>